Praise the Lord. Welcome as we continue meditating upon the word of God together. And I take this moment to appreciate your company at all times. Following our brief Bible reflections Monday to Friday, may the Lord bless you. Keep sharing. Let us keep encouraging one another. And the word of God is all what we need in this life. And the word of God is such a treasure. So I welcome you once again. This week we've been looking at the book of Psalm 34 and we've read verse 1 to verse number 7. Today we pick up from verse number 8 to 10. The Bible says, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lion, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. David, in this psalm, helps us to see that there is a lot of happiness to those who trust in the Lord. Great happiness, great satisfaction, great joy. Those who trust in the Lord receive wonderful blessings from the Lord. He speaks of how we experience God when we purpose to look to him. He says that in verse number five, those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This is a great thing. Again, we are reminded that when we call upon the Lord, he hears, and not only so, he saves us from all our troubles. David helps us to see that we are never alone. In verse number seven, he says that the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear the Lord, and he delivers them. David helps us to see that it is good to take that personal step and commitment. And so from verse number eight, we are being invited to taste and see that the Lord is good. In other words, all what we have seen from verse number one all the way to verse number seven can only become a reality in our lives when we take that personal step of saying, I want to taste and see. I am called, I'm invited to taste and see that the Lord is good. So I purposely take this step. And we are told that blessed is the man who trusts in him. When you taste who the Lord is and you put your trust in him, we already have a title. And our title here is blessed. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. We are being called again to fear the Lord because when we walk in the fear of the Lord and we say that this fear is not the, you know, the trembling or the shaking around or screaming and shouting. No, when we are called to fear the Lord, it's an invitation to allow God be God in our lives. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. When you fear the Lord, there will be no want for you. Or the Bible says, there is no want to those who fear him. He is always there for us to provide, to make a way for us because we have purposed to fear the Lord or to walk under his counsel. And the great assurance we get in verse number 10 is that the young lions may lack and suffer hunger, but for those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. The challenge and the question here is, are you seeking the Lord? Those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. The lions here represent the powerful, the mighty, you know, the most strong. And we are told that they may lack, but for those who fear the Lord, those who seek the Lord, will not lack any good thing. 
the secret, brothers and sisters, is to take that personal step and to purpose to walk under God's counsel and to allow ourselves that at all times I will seek the face of the Lord. When we do so, we will not lack any good thing. Have a lovely weekend ahead. Have a good day, a blessed time. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Shalom.